Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the O2 drone from GDU, the Global Drone Union. Click subscribe to see our upcoming flight testing segment. This video is brought to you by the Academy of Model Aeronautics, more than 80 years of protecting our rights to fly, and now offering commercial drone insurance, including hull coverage and up to $2 million in liability protection. The O2 is designed first and foremost for portability and every aspect of the design reflects that. The drone and its controller fit together like a pair of Lego bricks, so there are no vulnerable components exposed during transportation and storage. The kit even includes this neoprene bag, which makes it easy to stow the O2 in your backpack and take it along with you. Taking a look at the aircraft, it feels heavy for its size. Also, the limbs don't twist or fold. Instead, they slide out of the body which minimizes the overall size and protects the propellers. The limbs are made out of aviation grade aluminum and they feel sturdy when they lock into place. On the bottom of each motor is a small strut that you can fold out to enhance stability on takeoff or landing, although I found it works just fine without them. Up front is a three axis gimbal carrying a 1 3rd inch CMOS sensor, capable of capturing 4K video at 30 frames per second as well as 13 megapixel stills. So one thing you won't find anywhere on the drone is a slot for an SD card. The video and still images are stored internally in 16 gigabytes of memory, and that can be accessed either through the app or this micro USB port. Also on the front of the aircraft is the visual collision avoidance system. The battery fits on top of the aircraft. It latches into place and you release it by pressing on tabs located on either side. It's three cells, 4,000 milliamp hours. At the back is a button, which can be used to turn on the aircraft and also to check the battery level. On the bottom, we have an air intake for cooling the ESCs, as well as ultrasonic altitude sensors and an optical flow camera to help with position hold at low altitude. Taking a look at the controller, it comes with these labels that briefly describe how to set it up and use it. It's a unique telescoping design that fits your cell phone right in the middle to provide video and telemetry from the aircraft. The kit comes with these three cables, which provide a micro USB to micro USB connector, as well as a lightning connector and a USB-C connector. So you'll be able to use it with both Apple and Android phones. Now make sure you don't lose these cables. They'd be hard to replace. It's a clever design, but I found that this little tab right here has the annoying habit of summoning Bixby on my Samsung S8, all on its own. Just press and hold the Bixby key whenever you need me. The control sticks arrive in standard mode two configuration. Also on the face of the radio, we've got an automatic takeoff button, a return to home button, and also the sport mode switch. On the lower edge of the controller, we have two rubber flaps that cover the DC power input, as well as a micro USB port for connecting with your computer, along with another micro USB port for connecting to your phone. Between them is a small LED screen that provides basic information about the aircraft and the controller, which I like a lot because it's a backup if there's something that goes wrong with your phone. On the shoulders of the radio, we've got the camera controls, including a button to start and stop video recording, as well as to take still photographs. This dial is used to control the pitch angle of the camera, and this one is used to control auxiliary aircraft settings. And on the back, we've got some auxiliary control buttons. The kit also includes a charger for the controller and the battery, as well as a full set of spare propellers. This packet includes a comprehensive set of documents, as well as a screwdriver for changing out the propellers if necessary. When you're ready to go flying, Power up the radio first, and then the aircraft. Touch the power button, and then press and hold for three seconds. Once the two are connected, you'll see video and telemetry on your smartphone. The app is clean and well-designed. You've got telemetry across the top, and the lower right-hand corner, you've got camera controls. In the lower left corner, you can access the various smart modes. At the center on the bottom 
is a message that tells you whether or not the collision avoidance system is working. When I got mine from the factory, the system was actually disabled. So before your first flight, you might want to verify it's set up the way you want it. So that was our first look at the O2 from GDU. To see our upcoming flight testing video, be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.